Dear family members, welcome to HT Global News, your source for uplifting news from Chonaguk. During the Chuseok Harvest Festival in Heavenly Korea, we held a special pledge service and kyombe ceremony at both the Bon Hyangwon and Paju Wonjon. This was a moment to pay our respect to our true father, the true family, and our senior members who have transitioned to the spirit world after dedicating their lives to the will of our Heavenly Parent. It was also an important opportunity for us to reflect on our own path and make resolutions. In this edition of HJ Global News, we have a special feature titled, Who Am I? and various updates from the missionary field. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? Within this journey called life, this fundamental question is ever present. From birth to the moment of death, this question has always confronted us with a heavy heart. Who am I? Even for the numerous seekers who renounced wealth to glory to tread the path of hardship, and for the artists who continue to create amidst poverty and sickness. This question has permeated throughout all human history. While many philosophies and religions have sought answers to such questions, they have not been able to provide clear solutions that awaken people to the divine providence. the will of God. To establish a world of one human family centered on God, Dr. Son Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Chahan Moon have, through the holy blessing, fulfilled the ideals and wishes of heaven's ideal of creation for the first time in history. And now, as the true parents, consistently for over 60 years, they have been leading heaven's providence through the marriage blessing. Beyond religion, nation and race, blessing ceremonies which have involved hundreds of millions of couples worldwide is established as a movement and emerged as a new dimension in family values and virtues. They are the answer to the age-old question, who am I, and provide a fundamental solution to the path humanity must follow. How can blessed marriages be the answer to who am I? True parents, while advancing the marriage blessing, have clarified our parent-child relationship with God, our heavenly parent. In other words, we are in a parent-child relationship. In God, our father and mother, our heavenly parent, who dwells in ideal families, formed by true sons and daughters. As true parents, they have eternal dream of living together and sharing joy. Through this dream to realize peaceful families and furthermore extending to society, nation and the world. Now, I am indeed a child of heavenly parent. A miraculous shift in perception has begun. In this historic revolution, Archbishops from the Vatican have broken their celibate lives in light of the revelation of Jesus. Numerous clergy have joined the ranks of blessed and formed ideal families of goodness. Not just individuals, even former and current heads of state are also participating. And across continents, flowers of this miraculous revolution are blooming brightly. The question asked for thousands of years, who am I? 
If you seek the answer and trace back to the origin, there you will find that our Heavenly Parent is both our Father and Mother. I am a precious child and sibling of Heavenly Parent. This is indeed the unchanging truth and the answer. In a world where all of humanity on the Heavenly Parent becomes one family, one siblinghood. The joyful beginning is being a child of Heavenly Parent. Meeting Heavenly Parent. Since Heavenly Parent is our parent, you are a blessing. You are our joy. The pledge ceremony at the Bonhyangwa marking the Chuseok took part in the presence of members of True Family and leaders of Chonegu. In his representative prayer, Dr. Song Yeonchon recalled memories of True Father and reflected on the meaning of Chuseok for the liberation of heaven and earth. Afterwards, members of the True Family and main leaders laid flowers at the tomb of the True Father and paid their respect with prayers and bows. Dr. Yang Chanshi, chairman of UPF, then led the three chairs of Okmanse, concluding the ceremony gracefully. Following the Byung Won ceremony, over 200 individuals, including members of the True Family, leaders and providential organizations, and church leaders attended the inauguration of the Paju Won Memorial Building at the Paju Wonjon. Indeed, the True Mother renamed the site of Paju Wonjon as Paju Won. In his message, Song Gwang Sok, the national leader of Korea, stated that Bajuwon is a sacred land among sacred lands and the national cemetery of Chonnyguk. 참 어머니께서는 원전에 안치된 분들을 더욱 정성들여 모시고 그 뜻을 기려 흉후의 전통을 이어가라는 의미에서 파주 원전 제실 건축을 허락해 주셨습니다. 그리고 지난 8월 1일 양력 9월 15일 참 어머니께서 이 제실의 이름을 파주 원으로 축복해 주셨습니다. Dr. Song Yeonchon in his offering prayer paid tribute to the members of the True Family and the heroes of the unification movement who walked the path of sacrifice. The True Family members and the central leaders then celebrated the dedication of the Paju Won with a ribbon cutting and unveiling ceremony. Afterwards, centered on Dr. So Yeonchon, the space was sanctified and wholly offered up to heaven. Immediately after the Pachuwon dedication ceremony, the pledge ceremony for the Chuseok in the 11th year of Chonegok took place. After the true family members lit the holy candles, Rev. Igi Song offered a representative prayer of gratitude and respect. Subsequently, during the time of offering flowers, offering of bows, the True Family members' representatives of providential organizations, senior members, and all attendees paid their respects. In his commemorative address, President Song Yeonchon called on everyone to follow the path of loyalty and filial piety, emulating the True Father, the True Family members, and senior family members. Harusoki, Chonsege won Yuguhanaga Dioso, Tungun Porum Talguatan. 원하원의 세계를 이루어 하늘 부모님 모시고 참 부모님과 함께 기뻐하는 풍요로운 한 가위가 어서 속히 오기를 기원하면서 기념사에 가름합니다. Then Munshin Chul and Munshin of the True Family symbolically receive stones from the Berlin Wall, signifying the commitment to realize a heavenly unified Korea. Finally, the ceremony concluded with the three shots of Okmanse led by the Elder Reverend Cho Man Ung. 
Subsequently, the main leaders visited the tombs to pay their respect and reaffirm their commitment to the success of Vision 2025 and a heavily unified Korea. In Heavenly America, a lecture tour on the Chon Won Gung era and faith centered on true parents is being conducted in eight cities. Kim Jin Chun, the president of Chon Bob Won, delivered a lecture on the value and stature of true parents and the completion of the providence. Shin Dong Mu, from Chumada's first secretariat, provided the special report. They spent the time understanding the stature and value of true parents, only begotten son, the only begotten daughter, and the substantial Holy Spirit, and deeply felt the earnest heart of true mother. Additionally, the Q&A session with members helped them to share and understand each other. Through this, the Heavenly America Family Federation could unite more with the heart of true mother and pledge their will to support and attend true mother. In the Philippines, a special Heavenly Asia Pacific Hyojon Chonbo Great Works was held. With 320 family members from the heavily Asia Pacific region in attendance, they emphasized Chombo family education and conducted Chanyang session, ancestor liberation, and blessing ceremonies. Kim In Chun, the branch president, stressed the importance of absolute faith in the great works and the sincerity during the Chan Shin Won night devotion. Through these great works, the family federation members decided to comfort the beloved true mother and offer special devotion for the victory of Vision 2025. In Benin, the Chonbo Home Church service was conducted with over 100 attendees. After listening to the ninth chapter of the Chon Song Kyo Home Church and Tribal Messiah, the inspired participants pledged to actively witness to create many spiritual children. In the Republic of Congo, a seven-day principal workshop was held with 27 participants. Through this, the attendees pledged to do their best for the victory of the 210-day special witnessing activity with the home church leaders. The Family Federation of the Democratic Republic of Congo conducted a special blessing movement for the victory of Vision 2025. 173 couples, including Christian pastors, their spouses, and believers received blessing and formed the bond with your parents. Through these family members pledged to continuously move forward and strive for church growth and national restoration. Heavenly Korea Mokpo Church conducted a one-day sleepover and two-day event with local foreigners in celebration of Chuseok. They introduced the principal, educated them on the peace vision of true parents and created relationships for future outreach through various activities. In Argentina, on the occasion of the International Day of Peace, an interfaith gathering titled Prayer for Peace in Argentina and the World was held. This event saw the participation of over 80 key figures from various religions, communities, sharing prayers and reflections. Miguel Werner, the UPF president of Argentina, emphasized the importance of faith, unity and service during challenging times. In Mexico, to commemorate the International Day of Peace, an event titled Empowering Peace, Families and Communities was held. With over 70 leaders from various sectors in attendance, presentations emphasizing the importance of family and peace were made. The principles of Tongil Mudo were introduced, sharing the philosophy of unity in mind and body. In New Zealand, to commemorate the UN Day of Peace, the Peace Road Walk event was held. The event, attended by 30 participants, began with a presentation by President Kenji Watanabe and a special speech by Daniel Rubin, a notable figure in the International Peace Run program. Participants walked to the Auckland War Memorial Museum to pay respects and commemorate those who fought for peace. In Peru, the Second Peace Road 2023 event was held with over 700 participants marching. People from all walks of life participated in this event. Notably, Dr. Gabriel Madrid Orue, the mayor of Piria, expressed gratitude for UPF's peace initiatives. In Paraguay, to commemorate the UN World Peace Day and the 11th anniversary of True Father Songhua, an international leadership conference was held. The conference emphasized peace, unity with God, and the importance of preserving national culture. 
A ceremony was held to appoint 10 new ambassadors for peace and to award those who have contributed to peace initiatives. In Burkina Faso, the ceremonies were held to commemorate the International Day of Peace and the 18th anniversary of the Universal Peace Federation's establishment. On this occasion, education on five principles of peace, ambassadors were provided, and three leaders dedicated to Universal Peace Federation and peace promotion were awarded. Notable leaders including military officers and economic activists were appointed as peace ambassadors and the event was covered by national radio and television. In Papua New Guinea, a youth leadership and character education workshop was held on the theme The Role of Youth in Nation Building. With the collaboration of National Youth Development Agency, 28 youth participated. Han Mansu, the association president, emphasized the importance of leadership and character education and conveyed that the youth should be equipped with the skills and values needed for the future. Additionally, through peace designer training, they contemplated solutions to community issues and peace. Concluding all the sessions, they pledged to become members of IYSP, serve their communities and work for a better future. The UPF and IYSP of the Democratic Republic of Congo, in collaboration with the Ministry of Sports, organized a women's soccer tournament with the theme, The Value of Family and Blessing as the Cornerstone of Peace. Students from various universities participated. After the soccer tournament, DP workshop was conducted and the university students were deeply moved by the lectures on purity, absolute values and family ethics. Sports equipment was distributed, a peace ambassador appointment ceremony was conducted and as part of the heavily tribal messiah activities, a model family award was presented. The book launch commemoration for Pak Chu Hyun and Choi Hyun Suk World Mission Anecdotes March for World Peace to Realize the Dream of One Human Family was held. Julia Moon, the director of Hyojong Cultural Center, conveyed the joy and celebration of the publication of the World Mission Anecdotes, March for World Peace, in her remarks. The author, Park Chun Hyun, the National Messiah of Switzerland, shared his feelings about the book's publication and expressed gratitude to the attendees. Sok Chuno, the president of the World Peace Martial Arts Federation, Yang Zhangshik, the chairman of the UPF, Song Guan Sok, president of FFWPU Korea, and Yun Jong Lu, the president of Korea Peace Ambassador Central Council, expressed their joy and congratulated the event through their encouraging and congratulatory remarks. The World Mission Anecdote, March for World Peace, will testify to the true parents of humanity and become a precious recorded legacy. Every one of us is granted the same amount of time each day. Some choose to treasure it and use the time wisely, while others waste it or let it slip away. The way we spend our time each day, week and months, shapes our years and ultimately our entire life. By valuing each day, we can make the most and beautifully conclude the remaining three months. With these words, we conclude this edition of HD Global News. Thank you for being with us and may God bless you.